Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Mishnah Yomi. We're starting the last parak of Mesechus Shumas, Parak Yid Aleph. Uh, the Daily Double. That's the new name for the Mishnah Yomi Shir. Daily Double. Daily Yomi Double. Mishnah. Got it. Get it good. All right. Aleph. Ain't no sense Vela. The Grogro. So the Hamur Yas. Neshuma Abdon. Right? One of the things about Truma, you have to be. He Shomer. You have to be Shomer Truma. You shouldn't be Ma'abed it. Right? So. To take figs or fig cakes and put it into fish brine or fish fats, right? I mean, this is done because what happens when you soak it in the fish fats? Eventually, you want it just to, to give taste to the fish fats, and you're eventually going to throw out the main part, which is the figs. Figs are meant, are meant for their juice. They're meant to be eaten. And you throw out the figs or the fig cakes, so that's a, a lack of sh- shimur bitruma. Avanos says, Ayayin Lemuria. If Ayayin shells truma, you can put in morias, you can put in fish fats or fish brine because you're going to drink the whole thing and the wine is going to be consumed. You're also not allowed to take oil of truma um, and to, to let the oil um, become part of basamim, of different spices. They should have a, a taste of oil in them because the ikr, the actual most of the shemen you're throwing out, it's a lack of shimur in the truma. However, to spice up wine and to put different... Uh, uh, flavors in the wine, that's okay because again you're consuming the wine, which is truma, and you're not being ma'abed. You're not yain of truma because mamito. There's different explanation of what mamito means. I think the most logical explanation, which we hold like la'alacha, is because everybody knows that yain mavushal lowers the value of the wine. Mavushal wine is just not good. Expensive wine, you're not mavushal. It ruins the taste. Yuda matir mimneishu mashbicho. Yuda argues on this. He says it's mashbicho. I guess the explanation is it lasts longer if it's mavushal, or especially if you have uh, a non-Jewish person in your house and he might, you know, ruin your whole bottle of wine, or you have a son that doesn't keep Shabbos anymore <laughs> for Hesia, he might ruin your wine. So therefore, you don't hold technically it's actually better to mavushal it. We all Allah, no, obviously yain mavushal is less chashuv, and therefore <clears throat> you're not supposed to mavushal it. Yain of truma base zvash tomorrow and v'yein tapuchem v'chomesh is vanyo so shar kol mei peros shal truma or rebiyaz or mechayev keren v'chomesh v'yisho poter. Let's say you have uh, liquid that comes out of dates or liquid that comes out of apples, apple juice. The chomesh is vanyo. These are uh, late ripening grapes. The shar kol mei peros shal truma where the ikker is the pre right. You're eating the date. The date the liquid comes out of date is not so chash. Apples you eat apples over the juice that comes out of them. And these late ripening grapes, right? Um, the juice is not so good. It's not good. It's not good wine. It's not good grape juice. The grape is the ichor. Lezer of Karen Vachomish. Lezer holds no. Still, they are called the ichor because they are mashkim. Um, they're liquids that come out of the pre. And therefore, if someone eats them bishogig, um, the possession they belong to a kohen eats them bishogig. So you're mechayev Karen and chomish, like the penalty of eating truma of uh, of a kohen. Uh, Bishul gave it. Bishul poter. Bishul says your poter. Obviously, you have to pay back to Karen, but Chomish you don't have to pay because it's not considered ikar truma. Rav Lezer and Tami Bishul Mashke. Lezer considers it one of the Zayin Mashkim. The Zayin Mashkim, um, we know that it's machshir uh, something. If one, if uh, something gets cut off from the ground, a fruit or a vegetable gets cut off from the ground, and it comes into contact with one of the Zayin Mashkim, right? Zayin Mashkim Yad Shach Adam Yayin uh, Dvash Shemen uh, Chalav. Tal, uh, Dvash, yeah, Dvash Devorim, Dam, Dam and Mayim, Dam and Mayim. So those are seven mashkim, Yad Shachatam, your hand shechs blood. I don't know what that means. Uh, anyway, what are the, the point is, these are the only, only these Zion mashkim, and they have to be Chosh of mashkim. But it says these things are also, right, the wine that comes out of Sidvonia, late ripening grapes, it's also called a mashkim, even though you wouldn't make wine or grape juice out of it. It's still considered juice out of a grape. Amar Rabbi Yeshua, Lo Manucham Shiva Mashkin Kimone Petamim Ella Amru Shiva Mashkin Tmei Mosharkal Mashkin Tahor. Rabbi Yeshua's basic spar is, it's not like people who just you know like Amelia Bedelia say, oh, you know this is called wine. Also, no, Yain Sidvonio, it's come to late ripening grapes, is not uh, edible as wine or grape juice. So technically, it's grape juice, but it's not really grape juice because no one's going to drink it. So therefore, it's not like people who exaggerate, like people exaggerate spices or exaggerate what they're cooking and all the spices they put in. 
um, it's actually actually be feasible on cold grape juice, really, where it's more important, the mashka, than the actual fruit itself. So therefore, it does not have the din of Zion mashka. This is not a lacha related to truma, but it is a lacha related to the previous Allah which talked about truma. Stay tuned for Ion Mitzion. Ion Mitzion, Tate, Sarah. We're going to talk more about these Mishnayos coming up there.